Hello yogis, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a strength practice, mainly focusing on our core and our arms. So let's begin. We'll start in our seated position, making sure our sitting bones are well grounded, spine is long, shoulders are gently back, hands anywhere comfortable, and slowly we're going to close our eyes. Notice the natural inflow and outflow of your breath. Try to sink into this moment. Notice how on your inhalations, naturally you're recruiting energy. And at the same time you're lifting, you're creating space. Notice how on your exhalations you naturally release, you ground, but at the same time you connect deeper onto your foundation, in this case onto the mat. Have this in mind as we move into our practice. Slowly bring the hands in front of the chest. We're going to chant one time on to start the session. Take a deep inhalation. Very slowly and gently we will open our eyes and we'll start directly Bring the hands in front, leaning onto the knees, coming into our tabletop position. We'll start with a little bit of warm up on the wrists and shoulders. Take a deep inhale, slight protraction, so lift slightly through the upper back. Maybe if you feel a lot of discomfort when your hands are facing forward straight, see if you can bring instead the index finger is facing forward, so a little bit of external rotation. This may feel a little bit more comfortable for you. We'll start rocking forward and back. Try to create wide movements. You can also connect the movement with the breath. I normally suggest to exhale when going forward and then press with the fingertips as we inhale to come back to the center. But feel free to explore into any other way that is good for you. Good, two more like this. Good. When you're ready, bring your fingers facing back to the knees. Extend through the arms, find length, find lift. And as you exhale, see if you can lean back towards your heels. Feel free to gently lift the hands, the palms up and down as you move forward and back to create some space or if you prefer to stay still and press down with the base of the hands onto the mat, that's also an option. We breathe deeply and slowly here. For three more breaths. Good. Two and one slowly release shake the hands a bit to take out the tension when you're ready we'll do one more onto the hands i want you to extend the arms forward open the hands we'll work on explosive movements so take a deep inhale slight protraction on the shoulders maybe engagement on the glutes and we begin for 10 good nine make sure your elbows are always straight eight Faster, six, five, good, four, three, two, one. Slowly shake the hands a little bit, take out the tension, very nice. Maybe even interlock the fingers and move into one direction to the other. When you're ready, we're going to bring the hands onto the mat. Start working on some protraction and retraction from our tabletop. Easy version, you can have the knees on the mat, but if you feel okay, try to flex the feet and lift the knees slightly off the mat. To work on this exercise, we'll start inhale, lift up, protract, exhale, retract, good. Inhale two, exhale down, good. Inhale three, 
exhale down, inhale four, exhale down, good, inhale five, exhale down, good, inhale six, exhale down, inhale seven, exhale down, inhale eight, exhale down, inhale nine, Exhale down, last one with a hold, breathe for 10, 9, fully protracted, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knees to the floor, relax for a moment, maybe stretch your shoulders a little bit into any direction that feels good to you. Nice. For five more breaths here. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. And let's go again. If you felt comfortable in this last variation, we try to reach our full plank position, we'll repeat the same thing once more. Take a deep inhale to lift, good. Exhale down, inhale two, exhale down, inhale three, exhale down, inhale four, exhale down, inhale five, exhale, inhale six, exhale, inhale seven, exhale, Inhale, eight, exhale, inhale, nine, good, exhale, last one, inhale, breathe for 10, everything engaged, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees on the floor, and relax, move the shoulders a little bit, to release some tension, good. Slow and long breaths for five. Nice, four, three, two, great, and one. Slowly when you're ready, bring the hands onto the floor, flex the feet, lift the hips up and back, Come into your downward facing dog. Elevating through the shoulders, finding lift, finding length. For five. Good, see if you can ground through the heels, maybe lift the toes to increase the tension on the hamstrings. Four. Three. Two. And one, slowly inhale, roll the spine, come into a plank position, core glutes engage. We're gonna see if we can open the space between the feet. Maybe fingertips on the right hand, maybe right hand to the right shoulder. And we breathe through the left shoulder, 10, nine, protract through the left shoulder, eight, Seven, good, six, five, very nice, four, three, two, one, right hand to the floor, we switch to the other side for 10, very nice, nine, eight, try to square the hips, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one switch again for 10, 9, 8, good, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one switch for 10, great, 9, 8, notice the tension, 7, 6, I'm noticing it for sure, 5 more breaths, 4, Three, two, one, both hands to the mat, feet a bit closer together, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Good, exhale. 
into your downward facing dog. Elevation on the shoulders, remember. Breathe for five. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Look forward, bend the knees and slowly walk until you reach between your hands. Open up the chest, inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down. Option to interlock the fingers behind the back and just try to hang. Allow the shoulders to relax and to re release down onto or towards the floor. And do not focus too much on the connection in the compression. Just allow your body to naturally sink down. For five. Nice. Four. Relaxing the neck. Three. Two. Great. And one. Slowly bend the knees. Release the arms. And very slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Start coming up until you come into your standing position. Okay, let's try to work a bit more on the strength in our standing postures. Take a deep inhalation, bring the right leg up and slowly open to your right. Okay, right foot faces to the right. We start with our triangle pose, but we'll try to make it actively if we can. So if you feel it's very hard to do it actively, right hand onto the leg, onto the big toe maybe, left arm up. Otherwise, we start from the top, we reach the arms up, we find length, maybe palms facing up or maybe with making a pistol with the hands, inhale to elevate, exhale maintaining your body straight, try to lean sideways and we breathe for 10. Good, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, good, three, two, one. Bring the right hand to the foot or to the leg. Inhale deep, left arm up. Exhale both hands to the floor. Back foot, in this case, left foot turns 45 degrees. Maybe create a bit of separation sideways in between the feet so you create a bit more stability make sure your hips are squared glutes engaged stacking through the tailbone spine is long maybe hands here maybe hands to the floor maybe you can go farther forward okay if you feel comfortable we'll try first to work on some engagement so we take a deep inhale we look forward we engage the legs, the glutes, the core. We extend the arms forward as well for 10. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hands to the floor. Inhale deep. Exhale. Take it passive. Go all the way down, stretching through the hamstring. Four, ten, good, nine, eight, seven, very nice, six, five, four, keep lengthening on the inhales, three, two, and one, slowly walk back with the hands halfway up, exhale, hands to the hips, Inhale, come all the way to standing, pushing onto the floor with the legs. Exhale, turn the position of the feet. Same thing on the second side, on the left side. If you feel, if you're trying with the arms extended without touching any support, if you feel some discomfort on the knee, try to make sure your knee tries to be aligned to the foot. If it's well aligned to the foot, no tension or very little tension would be. Otherwise, you'll notice a lot of discomfort, okay? If that happens, work on gently internally or externally rotate the leg 
until you feel that comfort, or if you feel it's too much, you can always bend your knee slightly to protect the knee. Okay? This is if you feel discomfort or something weird going on on your knee. Otherwise, we inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we lean sideways for 10. Good. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Left hand to the foot, to the leg or onto the big toe. Inhale deep, right arm up. Exhale, right hand to the floor. We bring the back heel back a bit. We square the hips. Lengthen through the spine. If you feel this is too much, you can always bend your front knee. If you can, we hold first actively for 10. So we extend the arms forward and we breathe for 10. 9. Everything engaged. 8. 7. 6. 5. Finding length. 4. 3. 2. One, hands to the floor, inhale deep, exhale, go forward and down, four, ten, good, nine, great, eight, seven, six, finding more length on the inhales, four, three, more depth on the exhales, grounding through the feet, through the heels, through the toes, last two, Good, and one, slowly inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, hands on the hips. Inhale, push yourself back. Come into your star shape, okay? We'll try to go into some variations into arm balances from here. If you don't want to go there, it's completely fine. Okay, I'll give you different options. We start with the hands on the hips, opening up through the chest, inhale. Exhale, come halfway down, bring the hands onto the floor, okay? If this feels okay, inhale, look forward, exhale, try to come down into your Parasarita Padottanasana, your wide leg forward bend, okay? If this feels comfortable for you, make sure your hands, shoulders and elbows are aligned. Try to lift up into your Sirshasana headstand. Take your time and breathe for 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, any variation of your headstand would work, four, three, two, one, same way you came up, come back down, inhale deep, look forward, open the chest, exhale, we go down again, option to bring the head to the floor, same thing, maybe you prefer to interlock the fingers behind you, trying to allow the hands to drop, if you are working towards an arm balance, from here, first we lift up into a headstand, okay? And then we'll transition either into our crow or our side crow. So bring the knees down, maybe both or maybe just one. And we breathe for 10. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six. If this feels too much, one foot can always go to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one head down, inhale, legs up. And then very slowly come back down. Inhale, look forward, open the chest. Last round, exhale, head down again. If you're going into your forward fold, interlock the fingers or grab the big toes with the fingers and then try to go down. If you have been doing your regular crow option to try in once more. Or if you were doing your side crow on the other side, try to lift up again. And then try to come back down onto side crow on the other side for 10. Good. 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Head down, inhale, lift back up. Very nice. Exhale, all the way down, feet to the floor. Inhale, all of us look forward, open the chest. Exhale, walk with your hands to the top of the mat. Step back into a plank position. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing deeply and slowly. For five. Four. Three, elevation on the shoulders, two, and one. Slowly allow your knees to drop and relax for a moment in your child's pose. Very good. Maintain your breath, slow. Try to bring your heart bit back to neutral. Staying here for a few more breaths. Last deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly bring the hands onto the floor, push the floor away, come back into sitting on your heels, allow your legs to extend, sitting down onto the floor. We're going to try to work into some more arm strengthening exercises, but also working with the core. Okay, we'll first try to work on compression. Very active exercise, even though it feels quite simple. Okay, we're going to start allowing our body to drop down onto the floor. Okay, bend your knees. Imagine you are in your crow or maybe even in your child's pose. So the idea is that the knees try to come as close to the chest first. And then if you bring them close to the chest, try to bring them close to the armpits. Arms are up, shoulders protracted, so they are going up in this case. And we just try to connect everything together. We'll do two rounds of 10 movements and then 10 static holds, okay? When you're ready, inhale, exhale, connect, inhale down, exhale two, inhale down, exhale three, Inhale down, good. Exhale four. Inhale down. Exhale five. Inhale down. Exhale six. Inhale down. Exhale seven. Inhale down, good. Exhale eight. Inhale down. Exhale nine. Last one, inhale down. Exhale, hold for ten, breathe. Nine. Eight, try to press with the knees as much as you can and reach the arms as high towards the ceiling as you can. Last five, four, three, two, one. Relax, hug the knees. Maybe allow the knees to open wide a little bit and move slightly. Good, try to release tension. Very good. Very nice. Good, we're gonna repeat this one more time, okay? Same thing, if you can try to connect even more this time, if you can try to really bring everything together and engage much better, okay? So, when you're ready, we take a deep inhale, exhale, connect, 
inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, exhale nine, last one, inhale, exhale, connect and breathe for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly hug the knees, allow your knees to open wide and allow yourself to relax a bit. Good, slow and long breaths. Very nice. Good. Breathing deeply and slowly here. Good, last two breaths. Nice. And one, great. When you're ready, start rolling forward and back until you sit down on the mat. Good. We're going to try to move into some boat pose Navasana to hollow body position. Very important, ideally, we'll not have any breaks until we complete two full rounds of 10 uh, holds, 10 breath holds on each pose, okay? Then we'll do a little rest and then we'll repeat this once more with some other exercises or variations, okay? So we can start maybe, this feels too hard, hands on the knees. You can always come back to any variation if you feel the one I'm doing is too intense. If this feels okay, Arms extended forward, maybe legs 90 degree more or less, maybe legs up higher. Open the chest, we hold for 10, looking to the toes. 9, 8, chest open, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Interlock the fingers, make a pistol, inhale deep. Exhale, extend the legs forward, extend the arms back. Breathe for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Engage the glutes, the core, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. Cross legs, try to lift the hips for a moment. Option 1, feet to the floor. Option 2, feet are lifted like this. Option three, try to lift a bit higher. And we repeat one more like this for 10. Good. Nine, eight, seven. The more you can lift the legs and the chest, the better. Six, five, four, three, two, one, interlock the fingers, make a pistol, exhale, go back, look to the toes for 10, good. Nine, eight, seven, core glutes engage, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, come up. If you have blocks, you can use your blocks, lift up, come down, feet down, Relax. Very good. Breathing deeply and slowly here. Notice the core getting warmer and warmer. Notice maybe even a little bit of uh, lactic acid happening, coming in. That's good. Basically, when we're working to that extreme where we feel that our muscles are on their limit, 
then that is when we start working afterwards, the muscles start working and we, we develop. We create more mass, we create, we develop more strength, more endurance. Good, now we're gonna try to do the same thing once more with a little variation, okay? So we'll start into our Navasana. This is gonna be the same, reaching the arms forward, but if you feel comfortable, reach the arms up. This will challenge you a bit more in your balance for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower down hollow body, reach the right arm up, left leg up, try to touch, don't grab, just touch gently or try to reach for 10. The others are still extend just as before, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, switch arm and leg for 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, extend both, inhale deep, exhale, reach back up, cross legs, lift, come down, one more, beautiful, last one for 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, looking to the toes, 3, 2, 1, come down, hollow body, Inhale, exhale, touch one leg, one arm for 10, 9, 8, 7, reaching with the shoulder higher, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, switch. If this is too much, you can always bend the knee and try to touch elbow with knee. 10, 9, good, 8, 7, good, 6, Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, reach back, inhale, exhale, reach up, cross legs, lift, and then walk or jump back to Chaturanga. Good, inhale, up dog. Beautiful, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing deeply and slowly, elevating through the shoulders. For five. If you feel you need to, option to come into your child's pose instead. Four. Slow and long breaths. Good. Three. Two. And one, slowly roll the spine, allow the knees to drop, bring the forearms onto the mat. We're gonna try to work into our side forearm plank to start developing strength and awareness as well as balance for our full side plank, okay? So first we'll try to stay in center into a regular plank for about 10 counts, then we'll move into one side different options there, then we'll come to center to relax, then we'll repeat on the other side, okay? So, when you're ready, extend both your legs, press the heels back, protract the shoulders, look down for 10. Notice the engagement around your whole body, eight, seven, six, five, very good, four, three, two, one. Start by bringing the left hand in slightly. Outer edge of the left foot down, okay? Try to lift the hips as high as you can. Maybe right arm up. Maybe this is enough. Maybe we bring one knee up and we reach with the hand. Maybe this is enough. Maybe we reach the big toe and we try to reach the leg up for 10. Good, hips high, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one, release the leg, then come back to the center, inhale deep, exhale knees to the floor, relax for a moment, maybe in your child's pose, or maybe in your Vajrasana. Breathing deeply and slowly, good. For five, making sure whenever we move into the form, we try to really recruit strength on each inhale, ground strongly on each exhale. Last two, good. And one, we'll do the same thing on the other side, so slowly, first come into your regular forearm plank, Find that strength, that connection to the mat. Four, ten. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six. Everything engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Right hand goes in. Outer edge of the right foot goes to the floor. We may start with the hips going high. Maybe this is enough, maybe even you can bring one leg up. You can bend the knee and reach the knee with the left hand, maybe reach the big toe and bring the leg up for 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release both hands, forearms to the mat, inhale and exhale, relax for a moment in your child's pose. Very good. Four, ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Perfect. Slowly when you're ready, come back onto your Vajrasana, your Thunderbolt pose. To conclude, before we finish and we relax in our Shavasana, we're going to try to work into any inversion that works for us. Maybe you want to work on a shoulder stand by laying down onto the mat reaching the legs up, trying to lift the hips and maintaining more or less a straight line. If this feels comfortable for you, you may want to work into your headstand. Any variation, any entrance into headstand would work, okay? The traditional way being reaching the, in the distance of the elbows, interlocking the fingers with the top of the head on the floor, back of the head on the hands. You can go close to the wall if you feel that is better for you. Or you can do it without the wall. Lifting the hips up, extending the legs and trying to lean. Maybe one knee bends, maybe both, or maybe we decide to pike up, okay? Whatever feels good for you. Or if you have any other variation, any other inversion, feel free to go there. For instance, we could move into our pincha by pushing onto the arms, lifting up the head of the mat. Wherever we are, we'll try to hold for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, good, 3, 2, one same way we came into the form. Try to come back down slowly. And when you're ready, allow your body to relax, coming into your child's pose. If you come from your shoulder stand, instead, hug your knees and squeeze the knees to the chest. Move a little bit side to side to release some tension. And when you feel ready, when you feel comfortable, very slowly try to come down and lay down onto the mat into your Shavasana. Mm. 
into your relaxing pose. Allowing all the engagement that we've worked on today to let go, to release, to vanish on the exhalations. Notice the heat generated in your body. Allow your breath to be deep, to be slow, but without much forcing. Try to make sure your breath happens somehow naturally, maybe just slightly deeper than usual, to help you allow your heartbeat to come back into a neutral beat. Very slowly, start bringing your awareness back into your body. Start moving the toes, the fingers, the hands, the feet, the neck. Just as when you wake up from bed, stretch yourself completely. Maintaining your eyes closed. Slowly bend your knees and just as when you sleep on one side, lay down onto one side, feeling your body heavy, relaxed. With the help of the hands, slowly come into your seated position. Make sure your spine is long, shoulders are gently back, hands anywhere comfortable. And take a moment here to observe your body your mind and your breath and ask internally how are you feeling and if you have any pleasant sensation coming in try to consciously maintain that feeling for the rest of the day slowly bring the hands in front of the chest we're gonna now chant one time om and three times shanti inhale deep Shanti, Shanti.
Shanti, Shanti. Slowly relax the neck, shin to chest, and very slowly and gently, we will open our eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. See you on the next class. Namaste.